Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I hope that you guys are doing so great today. I am ready for another fun math lesson. Today, we are going to talk about the numbers four and five, and we'll work on finding some hidden partners of four and five, and we'll also work on um, ordering those numbers, ordering one through five, and making sure that they're in the correct order from one through five and then from five to one or and zero. So we will work on that today. Um, as always, we'll start with our fluency. We'll do our warm up. We will do a concept development. We'll talk about what we learned and then you will do your exit ticket on Google Forms. Alrighty? Okay. Let's get started. You don't need anything for today. We're not practicing writing any numbers or anything like that. You just need um, to watch and play along with me. All right? Okay, here we go. Let me share my screen with you and we will get started right away. Okay, module one, lesson 16. So our goal for the day, I can write numbers one through five in order. I can answer and make drawings of decompositions with totals of four and five, just like I already talked about. That is what we want to have achieved by the end of this lesson. Okay, let's get started with a quick warm up. And this one's one of my favorites. We've played this before. These are five frames counting dots and spaces. So we're going to practice and I'm going to show you this five frame and um, I want you to tell me how many spaces you see and how many dots you see. So for example, here I would say I see four dots. One, two, three, four, and one space. Four and one make five. All right, here we go. Ready? Here's the next one. How many dots do you see? How many spaces do you see? Yes, three dots, two spaces. Three and two make five. All right, let's do the next one. Okay. How many dots, Blurt? One. How many spaces, Blurt? Four. One and four make five. Nice. All right, let's do the next one. How many dots do you see, Blurt? Five. So this, so this is called subitizing. If you can quickly look at this five frame and know that there are five without counting, that is um, counting with your eyes and called subitizing. So it's the ability to be able to quickly count, quickly know how many, I should say, without counting. And that's a really important skill. And since this is called a five frame, if you see all of the dots, if you see zero spaces, which we see zero spaces, you know that there are five dots because it's a five frame, right? So we see five and zero and that makes five. Good one. All right, last one. How many dots do you see for Two, and how many spaces? Three. Two and three make five. Good one, all right. All right, let's go on to our application problem now. So let's get four cups, count with me. One, two, three, Four. Maybe there's some like warm apple cider in these cups or maybe some hot chocolate. Mm, I like to drink those. All right. Then it says get five straws. Okay. So here we go. One. <laughs> that one kind of just came quickly on me. Two. I'm going to put the straws with the cups. Does that make sense? Count with me. Three. Four and five. Uh-oh, there's a problem. I had to get four cups. Okay, let me make sure I did it right. Four cups. One, two, three, four. Yup, and five straws. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I did it right. I got four cups. I got five straws, but what's the problem? Yeah, you're right. One cup doesn't have a straw, or one straw doesn't have a cup. Oh, man. So which has more? Which are there more of, the straws or the cups? Yeah, the straws. There are five straws, 
four cups. Five is greater than four. So we need another cup here, huh? I think we do. Let's give us draw this cup. There we go. No, it's right in the world, right? <laughs> okay, let's do our next one. Okay, here is our concept development. So we're going to play a game called Mix and Fix. And this would be a really fun game to play if you have like a deck of cards or if you have Uno or something like that. You could play this game after you're done watching this by yourself. So let's look at the number cards below and let's fix them up and put them in order starting with the number one. Okay, so I'm going to drag this one down here. One. Then I have a two. Then I have three. Then I have four. And then I have five. And I'm going to go back and check my work because sometimes you make a mistake. I always make mistakes and it's really easy to make mistakes in math. So it's good to go back and check your work all the time. One, two, three, four, five. Looks good. All right. Now we're going to go backwards. So that means we're going to start at five and count down. Remember when we did sunrise counting? One, two, three, four, five, and then sunset. Five, four, three, two, one. This is a sunset counting down. So I'm going to start with five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go back and check. Five, four, three, two, one. We did it. All right, now is where we're going to do our decompositions of four and five. So let's start with the number four. Down here, how many circles do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's put some circles on one side of this line here. Whoop. On one side of this line here. And another, some other circles on the other side. So I'm just going to randomly put some circles here. Okay, so how many circles are on the board now? Yeah, all four. We have two on this side and two on this side. So our hidden partners are four, two, and two make four. Good one. Okay, let's break our tower apart now. Let's do it a little different though. I'm just going to put one over there and I'll leave these three over here. Okay, so how many cubes do I have on this side? One. How many cubes do I have on this side? Three. So my hidden partners of four are one and three. Good one. All right. Now let's skip over and do five. You got it. All right. Let's see. I'm going to put two over here and the rest of my circles over here. I know I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have two on this side three on this side. That means my hidden partners are two and three make five. Yes. Okay, now let's do a different one. Let's put one over there and we'll put four over here. So one and four. One and four make five. You got it. So we have different partners two, five, and the greater your number gets, the more hidden partners you're going to be able to find. So back when we did hidden partners to two, we really only found one and one, right? Some of us might say two and zero, two, and that's good. Um, and then it goes, we find more hidden partners, the greater our number gets. So think how many partners we're going to be able to find when we get to the number 10. There are going to be a lot. Yeah, so many hidden partners when we get to 10. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to our problem set. This was just a quick lesson today, huh? Let's move on to our problem set, which is our exit, another word for our exit ticket on Google Forms. Our curriculum calls it a problem set, sometimes an exit ticket. Okay, so you are going to count the number of moons up here. And then this question says how many of this kind of moon, like kind of a dotted. So how many of that kind of moon? Then down here, how many of this kind of patterned moon? It's kind of like a rhombus pattern. And then you answer down here. How many moons all together? Hidden partners, right? Then same thing here. Look at this picture. How many smileys? How many sad faces? How many faces all together? 
that is your exit ticket for today's lesson. Wow, that was a really quick lesson. That might have been like our fastest lesson ever, huh? You did an amazing job though, finding hidden partners of four and five. And then we ordered our numbers from one to five and then from five to one. Good work, kiddos. I can't wait to see how you do with your exit ticket. If you um, do anything like this with some blocks or anything you have at your own house or you want to order your numbers with some cards, you could even just write numbers on a piece of paper and like tear them apart, mix them all up, and then order them by yourself. That would be fun. I love to do that in the classroom. Um, so anything that you want to do to get your hands on when you're learning, I would love to see it. Send me a picture, okay? All right, I'll see you next time for lesson 17. Adios.